guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make uh, this uh, little cute penguin keychain so what you're gonna need is uh, you'll need the yellow the black and the white yarn and also you need uh, the key ring and also I use a crochet hook which is 2.75 millimeters okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the magic ring first so we're going to do magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five six okay and then i'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap Okay, so after that, uh, in the second row, we are going to increase uh, each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 uh, crochets in the 12 single crochets in the second row. So we're going to go in the first uh, stitch and do two single crochet. Okay, and then do two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to continue doing two single crochet in each stitch until the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in the third row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat that six times for a total of 18 stitches in the third row. So we're going to do single crochet in the first stitch, then increase in the next one. So you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to continue that way. So single crochet, then increase in the next. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end. Okay, so after you've done with that, uh, in the fourth row, we're going to do two single crochet, increase, and then repeat that six times for a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so we're going to do in the second stitch, we're going to do single crochet, one, and then in the next stitch, do single crochet, and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to, uh, you're going to continue that and repeat five more times. So two single crochet, increase all the way around until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our fifth row, we're going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat that six times for a total of 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in the sixth row, we're going to do four single crochet, then increase and repeat that six times for a total of 36 stitches. So we're going to do one single crochet, two, three, four, and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next six rows, which is from row 7 until row 12, we're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 36 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with your 12th row and then we'll do the 13th row together. Okay, so after you're done with the 12th row, you're going to change into the black yarn. And after you change into the black yarn, I already did that. Uh, we're going to start with the 13th row. And in the 13th row, we're going to do a single crochet in the back loop only. So you're going to go in the back loop uh, of the next stitch and do single crochet. Okay, so back loop, do single crochet. And same thing in the back loop of the next stitch, do single crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue like that all the way around uh, in this row. 
doing a single crochet in the back loop only until you finish okay so do single crochet in the back loops only until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next six rows which is from row 14 until row 19 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 36 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the 19th row so that we start the 20th row together Okay, so after you're done with the 19th row, uh, in our 20th row, we're going to start decreasing. So in row 20, we're going to do four single crochet, then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, four, Okay, and then you're going to decrease in the next stitch so you're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then go in the next stitch pull through and then you have one two three three loops on your hook so you're going to pull through all the three together okay and then you're going to keep repeating that until the end so you're going to do again one two three four and then decrease again so go in the next uh, stitch front loop pull through and the next stitch also pull through and then pull through all of them together okay so you're going to keep repeating that until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in the 21st row we're going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat that six times for a total of 24 stitches okay so we're going to go in the next stitch do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again all the way around until the end Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our 22nd row, we are going to do two single crochet, then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches. So you're going to do single crochet, one, two, and then decrease in the next stitch. okay and then repeat that all the way around until the end so after you're done with the 22nd row make sure you stuff your doll fully like i already did okay and then uh now we're going to start to the 23rd row and in our 23rd row we are going to do single crochet decrease single crochet decrease all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease in the next two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until you're done with this row okay so after you're done with that uh, in our 24th row which is our last row we're going to decrease all the way around until the end for a total of six stitches so you're going to decrease go in the next stitch decrease Okay, and then repeat that again so decrease also in the next two stitches okay so decrease until the end and when you're done cut off your yarn and then I'll show you how to make the wings okay so for the wings uh, we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochet into the magic ring so I already did that so in our second row, we're going to increase all the way around in each and every stitch for a total of 12 single crochets. So we're going to go in the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and repeat that also in the next stitch, do two single crochets.
okay so you're going to continue increasing all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that uh in the next three rows which is from th row three until row five you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 12 single crochet in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the fifth row so that we do the sixth row together okay so after you're done with the fifth row in our sixth row we are going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat that all around for a total of nine stitches so we're going to do single crochet then decrease in the next two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that around so single crochet decrease all the way around until the end okay, so after you're done with that uh, in our next row which is our last row we're going to decrease all around until the end and then we cut off our yarn so we're going to decrease okay and then you're going you're going to decrease again two more times until the end so when you get to the end cut your yarn long enough and leave uh, leave it for sewing and then after that i'm going to show you how to make the feet okay so for the uh, feet we are going to do with the yellow color and we're going to start with the magic ring and two single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one and two okay and then you're going to pull your yarn like that okay so after you do the two single crochet you're going to turn your work and then you're going to do a chain one Okay, and then we are going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch okay so we're going to do single crochet in the first stitch after you turn and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch so one and two okay and then after you do that you're going to turn your work again and then do single crochet okay and then in the next uh, in the next row we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase in the next so we're going to do single crochet do again single crochet in the next stitch and increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the last stitch okay so after you're done with that you're going to turn again and then do a chain one and then you're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches and increase in the next so you're going to do single crochet single crochet one and then single crochet two two and then single crochet three Okay, and then increase in the last stitch. Okay, so you're going to continue like that uh, all the way around until the end. Uh, I mean, until you have a total of 10 rows. So it's going to look something like that. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet. When you get to the end, you increase. And then turn your work do a chain one and repeat the same process until you have 10 rows okay so in the our feet we're going to crochet like this so at the bottom so you do you make two of them and then i'll show you how to make the neck over here okay so to do the neck uh you remember the part where we joined the black and the white yarn together uh in the back loops only so we have the front loops that are left over here 
so you're going to attach your yarn over there okay and then after you attach your yarn uh, we are going to start uh, with a chain one so you're going to do a chain one and then uh, you're going to do single crochet in the next stitch or in the next loop so you're going to do single crochet okay and then after that you're going to skip the next one and do five double crochet into the next loop okay so you're going to do double crochet one and then in the same loop do another double crochet two okay the same loop we do double crochet three okay then again we do double crochet four in the same loop okay and then we're going to do the last double crochet in the same loop it's double crochet five Okay, so after we're done with uh, five double crochet, we are going to skip in the we're going to skip the next stitch, and then we are going to do single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to do skip the next loop, do single crochet in the next loop, go single crochet. Okay, and then after that we're going to do again a chain one, and then do a uh, um, single crochet in the next stitch and then uh, you're going to skip the next stitch and then five double crochet in the next uh, stitch so you're going to do a double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four and double crochet five okay so you're going to continue repeating that all the way around until the end so you can see we are forming the little waves one two and then repeat until you get here at the end okay so after you're done doing the neck all around when you're done with the last petal you're going to uh, go into the first one and then slip stitch like that okay and then you're going to cut your yarn and we're going to do the finishing okay so for our yarn uh, we in order to make it neat you're going to go in the next uh, stitch and pull it through and then continue doing that all the way until the end so pull it through and then continue like that pull through Okay, and then we're going to cut the end. And this other one. Okay, so after that, now we are, I'm going to show you how to make the beak. Okay, so for the beak, uh, you're going to start to the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring in the first row. I already did that. So in the second row, we are going to do two single crochet, then increase two times for a total of eight stitches. So you're going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet. Okay, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then increase in the next stitch.
okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time so two single crochet and increase okay, so after you're done with that uh in our next row which is our last row we are going to do three single crochet increase and repeat that two times for a total of 10 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then single crochet three and increase in the next stitch okay so then you're going to repeat that one more time until here at the end so when you're done with the big uh, you're going to cut off your yarn long enough for sewing and then after that i'll show you how to join all the parts together okay so guys as you can see i've uh, finished attaching the parts together so what you do is uh, you choose any side of the uh, of the body to be your front side and you choose the back side too uh, any side is okay so what you do is you attach the beak at the very center of the upper side uh, one two three on the third chain uh, from the bottom of the white part and then you attach it there and then uh, for the eyes also you attach here at the side uh, of the beak Okay, and then after you're done, so you can see the way I attached my legs. So make sure they're uh, like this. They form a triangle here at the center, like that. Okay, so then you're going, uh, when you're sewing them, you sew uh, on the outside part. And here, don't sew, make sure you don't sew the outer part like that. So you sew it like that and leaving two stitches, two rows here so that uh, the feet comes out here at the top and then uh, the same thing with this other one okay and then for the arms uh, you make sure where the feet are ending so you start sewing your uh, your hand there on the upper part so you sew the white part and the hand the arms together okay so on both sides okay so also here at the top I did a little chain so that I put on the key ring over here okay so and that's it guys so i hope you enjoyed this pattern uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and also i upload new videos every saturday and sunday so until next time bye